Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another weekly video. In today's video, we are playing solo. Uh, if you guys are new here, I probably have around 200 hours in Rust PC, but around 2000 on Rust console. So I know a little bit, but the mechanics are, aren't really all that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you're new here, please be sure to leave a like and sub, thanks. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie guys, I didn't realize this until now, but my audio from Discord and my mic weren't working, but I have all like the, the game audio and footage, so I didn't realize that the audio wasn't working, so that's on me. I didn't really check because I thought it would be working from last video, but yeah, this is gonna be kind of like a alone in Tokyo type of video but with my commentary like this so hope you guys still enjoy Peace. so you know I was doing normal things you know up, getting a bow and then I started running some comps and uh yeah when I was running some comps I jumped on top of this car and my game crashed so where's that So I saw this really flat area in the desert and I decided that this would be a good spot to go to base. I did. Also, if you guys could leave in the comments, I would like to know what kind of content you guys like to watch because me personally, I like making videos where it's like not just PvP, you know? Like I do like doing and having a lot of PvP clips in my videos, but I also like building aspect and electricity and stuff like that having some sort of story to my video but you know I was kind of curious like what do you guys like seeing so let me just hear it in the comments so once I had my base situated I decided to grab all my comps and head over to Alpha Source I thought and I hadn't really mentioned this until now but I was playing on a solo server with uh two of my other friends that are new too so i ended up seeing one right here yeah, be. <laughs> yeah i've seen pluto the dial what the fuck are you doing what the fuck what the fuck you doing yo is this a solo server only Pluto the dog is back! Yeah, Pluto! Pluto the dog! But after that recycle run, I ended up running back to base and we all went our separate ways. And it's kind of crazy, but we all ended up like on the very opposite sides of the map from each other. Even though that wasn't really intended. I felt kind of bad for this dude, so you know, man. I just picked him up because I need his loot, you know, man. Oh. Yeah. With all the metal frags I had just gotten from recycling at outposts, I decided to craft a metal door and put it on the outside to prevent any molly raids. And after this, just decided to go around the area and hunt down all the animals that were nearby.
no, no, just the area, the area. Okay. No problem, no problem. I'll see you around. Yeah, so then I crafted a furnace and I got it smelting. Uh, yeah, don't question my furnace placement. I just put that there so in case I got deep, you know, I didn't lose like half my base right there. But after that, I decided my main priority to be getting a tier two. So I went to the road and started hitting the barrels. After running the road all the way down to Oxums, I decided to uh, recycle a bit. Hopefully all you guys I triggered with my deployables placement at the beginning didn't leak quick off the video, but finally decided to switch it up. It was finally daytime, so I headed back out to chop some trees for my furnaces. Yeah, so I went back out and started grinding scrap again because I was trying to get closer to that tier 2. But uh, honestly, playing the solo wipe, it's kind of made me realize that I'm kind of a farm bot at heart, you know? I like farming. And I kind of just got to start going out more for PvP and stuff, so roaming out of my area. Because, yeah, I like like being in my area and dominating my area so playing the solo wipe has like kind of opened my eyes so I'll be sure to change that in the future Yeah, but anyways, now I had enough scrap to make the tier 2 after this run, after I cooked up the side walls. Yeah, so while I let that cook at base, I ended up going out to get some nodes and this happened.
Okay, so as you can see, my prim game is still not all that, but uh, we'll get better at it. Yeah, but with that death, it was now time to finally craft up the tier two. So it was only up to me, right? I decided to go and get this DB research that I had found when I was gathering scrap since this was officially the first weapon I had found. And as you saw with my bow PvP, that was not getting me a weapon anytime soon. I also decided to get this flashlight research because at night I cannot see Jack, so. So I crafted up a crossbow and a DB and decided to go Oxums to go and recycle. And also I'm playing on a community server and for some reason there was no recycler at Fishing Village which was right next to me so that was kind of a pain. So for the rest of that time you see me at Oxums and yeah let's just say it doesn't go uncontested a lot. Yeah, so I'd shot this dude, but he had straight up ran after I'd shot him. So he dipped, I looked all around, didn't see him. But this was the first encounter with one of the Oxen's people I'll see. And this dude's base is literally in the same grid as Oxen's off to the right. And you, you won't see it. Just remember him for later on in the video. So I made it back home after that well needed recycle run and on the way back I had to call Jack and we're too so that was a W. I decided that I needed to expand my base so I went out farming. But for nodes it was like a wasteland in my area. I couldn't find any stone nodes. If anything, I just found sulfur. So uh, yeah, it took a little to find some stone. decided to upgrade of what I have so I could create a shelf and have more boxes in my core. So when it turned daytime, I went over to the dirt road right next to my base that's usually uncontested and farmed up all my all the scrap I could over here. Because my next goal was to go down the country and get the semi pistol researched and start roaming with it. Yeah, so this is what my base started to look like loot wise. Decided I should upgrade my base a little from being a 2C4 raid.
When it turned daytime, I decided to take some of the comps I had to get some scrap and especially some metal frags. Yeah, so I finished recycling what I had, but can we just appreciate that shot though? I know you guys saw that. No, that 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 ain't usual for me, so I'll appreciate that a little bit more. I was getting pretty close to the semi pistol, but I still needed to get more scrap, so I went back out. I also killed the scientist and I got a stim from it, so it tells W. Yeah, so I made sure to research it right when I got back to base. So yeah, the scrap count kind of lessened again the semi, but this is really important, so I got it. Then I hit the road all the way from my base to Oxum's and decided to recycle at Oxum's when I got over there. So when I got back to base I finally had enough scrap to research the semi pistol and Yeah so I finally had it in my possession and right after went and researched the pistol bullet. With my newly found weapon, I decided to go past Oxum's and try to look for nodes elsewhere because my area didn't really have any nodes and it actually worked out pretty good. all that farm I decided to put some honeycomb to my base finally.
So I grabbed some comps to go over to Oxen's. I'll say comps for metal frags and tech trash because I wanted to make a battery because I was super close to getting an electric furnace. So yeah, I went over to Oxen's and See, I knew this dude would come back really quick, so I literally only decided to recycle the components I had for tech trash. And I was gonna get out of here real quick. And right when I got this, somebody else showed up. So you know, I just decided to dip on out of there because I was getting double teamed right there. And uh, I was hoping that they would, uh, you know, run into each other and probably start fighting each other. Let me tell you right now, that did not happen. So you telling me this dude recycles naked Revo but then comes out sorry to kill me? It's kind of crazy. So you know I headed back DB and Slug because I don't have any other weapons crafted at the time. Should have waited behind that tree for a little bit longer, but in my defense, I did not know this dude was gonna swing right after getting shot like that. Yeah, so from that fight, basically, the dude that had the crossy nail gun basically grubbed the dude that had headshot body shotted, and uh, yeah, he basically came out with all the loot. And at this point, I was getting kind of tired of this because I was literally just fighting the same people over and over again. And it was just getting tiring. So I kind of just went on like some roams, not really caring anymore. Yeah, so I decided to check the combat log after that fight. And basically, that slug had gotten that one dude from 61 to 12 HP. And obviously one more shot would have killed him. But what really kind of pissed me off was uh, the SAR dude. So he was at 61 health. And I headshot bodied him on my screen. So that headshot got him from 61 to 16. But then that other body shot didn't register. So if that would have registered, he would have died. You know what? It is, it is what it is, man.
Heard right, some shots going down over here by mining outpost, so I went to go check them out. And uh, yeah, I think this was an L9. Not really too sure on the sounds, but I made sure to get out of there real quick. So I woke up the next day and uh, we weren't raided, which I kind of knew we wouldn't be. But, uh, yeah, for this day, I didn't really know what what to do with the world, so kind of just did some random stuff, but I'll include it. I had done a lot of farming, but you know, I wanted just to just add the PvP side, so I ended up going to launch and uh, yeah, just trying to get into some action. Not gonna lie, I sold that crossbow shot. If I hit that, I literally win that gunfight. And at that time, one of my other friends were on the server at the time, and uh, yeah, he got launched. So he ended up killing the dude right here, which is kind of funny. After dying, I literally just reached it and went back out. Friends were fighting and launch, so I decided this would be the last thing I'll do and call it. Then yeah, I got pulled up on by some random that heard all the shooting and shot on the back. But uh, yeah, also I built this base, I built a big penis, so right outside my, my friend's base so we can see that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, if you did, please be sure to subscribe and uh, like, it would be much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.